Raven Moto, man. Oh my God, these things are crazy. All right, guys. So the winner for the Raven Moto giveaway has been chosen on Instagram. Um, in case you guys missed it, the winner was Richard C. Um, and congratulations to Richard C. And thank you for everyone for participating in the giveaway. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Richard C. does not have any gear, he says, for his motorcycle. So really, really happy to be able to provide someone who needs gear to uh, get protected, right? Because, I mean, it's a dangerous game we play, guys. And this stuff, you know, I know a lot of people get the whole, I don't want to be looking like a street Rossi out there. I don't want to look like, you know, I'm out there riding around on the track. Well, me and my buddy Chris went out for a ride and he had a full race suit on and I'm telling you, he looked bad ass. You just look bad ass when you're on a motorcycle like this and you're wearing the proper gear, man. If, you, if you're out there in a t-shirt and jeans, you know, guys do it, like, don't get me wrong, this is Texas. There's some really, really dope, fast riders out here. I mean, ridiculously fast. These are some of the best riders in the world, maybe the, uh, definitely the country, maybe not the world other than MotoGP riders, but these guys out here are serious. And when I'm, when I'm I, who I'm talking about specifically is uh, ZX10 Mez and that, and that crew out there in Dallas and Houston. These guys are no fucking joke, man. They will, they are serious riders and some of them don't wear gear and that's on them and uh, whatever. But, you know, in my opinion, just rock your gear, right? Because like dope shit, right? It's dope, it looks good. Um, to each is their own to that aspect, but definitely wear a helmet. You ain't never going to see nobody who, who's serious about this game not wear a helmet. That's just silly, right? So at the very least, wear a helmet. Um, but yeah, these guys out here in Texas, man, they ride serious. They ride these machines, and they're, they're no joke at it. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting all those guys at MotoGP weekend, hopefully sooner at some bike meets and stuff. Uh, I don't expect to just like get in their crew and start hanging out or whatever but i just would like to meet those guys and pick their brain and maybe learn a little bit and um make some cool content for you guys uh for sure because um i would never expect to be able to keep up with mez no, no freaking way that guy is has is, is tremendous balls man i don't know he rides so fast like stupid fast on these highways out here and like you're just not going to keep up with these guys and his bike is so freaking fast you could be doing 180 like the kid will that I watch on his channel sometimes. And he'd be doing like 187 miles an hour and ZX-10 just fly by him like there's nothing. So that makes me want a ZX-10 a little bit to be honest with you, man, because this bike's too, this bike is even, like I know this is a really fast motorcycle. It's a very beautiful motorcycle, but out here it ain't shit. This bike is a turd out here. This is nothing compared to what these guys got out here. But that's okay, I do my own thing. I'm kind of just more like a, little bit of a showy type of guy i don't really i don't i don't want to say show off i just like the looks a little more than uh it means to me to go 190 miles an hour you know what i mean i like to park up at bike meets have people all the bike you know look at it love it and i also like to go pretty fast not crazy fast i mean i i, I really find it interesting that people can sit there and say like when you're lane splitting i'm about to make a whole video about this where they're like these careless bikers and they come up with these stupid like they come up with these stupid scenarios in their head that just never make sense. Like, well, what if a kid's walking out and you're lane splitting and you run into him? It's like, bro, why would a kid be walking in between traffic? Like, I think people, I think people get a little bit confused about why motorcycles lane split. We don't lane split so we can get to the front of the line. We don't lane split so we can cut the light. We don't lane split so we can um, get there faster or whatever. We lane split so we don't get rear ended sitting in traffic. That is the only reason. Okay, because people don't pay attention when they're driving and they should be, especially at lights. They creep up, they, they, they go too fast coming up to a light, they don't see cars stop in your peripheral, especially at nighttime or when it's a little whatever, your windshield's dirty. There's so many variables to why people don't see a bike, you know, in their, in their uh, peripheral. It's just blind to them, right? So they just run right through you. And guess what? You're not protected by airbags, a roof, a quarter panels or seats or anything. You're just you're just going to get mushed. I've been hit by the rear before. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to lane split forever. Now, driving and weaving through traffic, that's another thing too. Like that, that's a whole nother argument. Like when people sit there and say, oh, you're reckless. You don't care about other people's lives or your life or whatever. It's like, yo, this is the same person who's going to text and drive. So if, if people, you know, 
Uh, it, it just wear your gear, man. It's like it, it's like people just, oh, you got to follow the same rules. We don't need to follow the same rules because people who drive their cars are texting and driving as the most dangerous. That is the person who doesn't care for anyone's life. They're doing it while there's kids in the car. They're thinking about dinner. They're thinking about you know the girl that didn't text them. They're thinking about work or whatever happened at work. When you're on a motorcycle, you're thinking about nothing but what's in front of you, what's next to you, what's side of you. Everything, everything that everyone's doing. There's different circumstances to everything. Like why would a car suddenly put their turn signal on? Like the, oh well, until a car you know doesn't fly out in front of you because he doesn't have a turn signal on. Well, let's think about why people do that. There's really only three main reasons why somebody who would would randomly just put a no turn signal and and jump out of the lane. One of those reasons be they missed their exit. Two of those reasons be uh, because the person in front of them is driving too slow and they're just like all pissed off and they don't see you coming, uh, you know, 150 miles an hour. And they're just like, so you got to be aware of that. Like, is the person who I'm coming up on, uh, you know, behind another car who's going pretty slow? Because so, there's a really good chance they could cut out. Okay, so these are things you think about when you're on a motorcycle. And if you're not thinking about those things, you're doing it. You're just doing it wrong. You got to be thinking about that when you're going by exits or people, you know, going to come out or there's, it is very dangerous to do that. But I can tell you right now, it's way more dangerous to sit there and mosey around in traffic and act like you're going to be okay because somebody's going to cut you off. Somebody's going to slam on their brakes. Somebody's going to ride their ass. Somebody's going to use their turn signal and, and slam into the side of you because they're not paying attention. It's way more dangerous. So I don't know, man. I just, uh, these are things like I just get really aggravated at. I don't know how like ZX Mez and those guys all handle the comments. I don't, I don't know why these people come into my channel. Like I've, I haven't really seen it on a lot of other channels, that motorcycle, like 650 Eve and all these guys who are flying through traffic and racing in broad daylight. I'm sure they get it here and there, but I've checked their comments. Like I think it's because my channel wasn't always a motorcycle channel and there's a lot of other people here who, who aren't in the motorcycle community and game or whatever. And so I have this to say to these people, just leave. I don't care if I lose, I don't care if I lose 5,000 subscribers. If you're gonna sit there and talk about how, whatever, about bikes and lane split, I don't want you here. I'd rather have four quarters and a hundred pennies all day long, all right? So that's just, uh, that's just the way it is, man. I could lose 5,000 subscribers today because I made this video talking about how I don't want you here if you're not, if you're gonna be rude and ignorant about how how we ride our motorcycles and and talk about how we put lives in danger and don't care about our lives some of us got kids families to go to i got my dog i care about i got my job my career my family like like you don't know like you don't know me or any of these guys so you don't have no right to say anything like that and when you do say something like that or you like the one guy who was talking about, well, if I see a biker doing over 10 miles an hour, I'm gonna door check, I'm gonna pop my door open. Bro, you just you just literally premeditated doing harm to another human being. Like how stupid can you be, man? Like like so like these are the these are the comments I'm dealing with on my channel. And uh, these people they need to go. I need so part of the reasons why I'm making like a video like this or like some of these videos where I'm trying to um, where, where I'm trying to bring these comments out of people because I'm gonna ban them instantly. Like, no doubt about it. Like, come and comment your bullshit because you're gonna get banned because I do not want you here. I don't want you here. So, nobody wants you here. This is a motorcycle channel through and through till the day I fucking die. So, it's never gonna change. It's never gonna go back to the way it was. And I'm sorry if you're, you want it to, but this is that's just the way it is. Um, I'm not going to follow the fucking legal laws of the street of whatever bullshit fucking laws Texas has about lane splitting or whatever the fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. So I don't care what you think. And, and like, you know, I, I've talked about this before. It's my life. This is my bike. It's my life. It's my choice. And I'm going to do what I feel is more safe on this motorcycle because I already been hit from somebody not paying attention. I was doing the speed limit. I was doing everything right. And I got fucking drilled and almost killed. So, you know what? And then you got the people, oh, then don't ride a motorcycle. No, how about pay attention when you fucking drive? Because I'm paying attention when I'm riding. So, that's that's all I got to say, man. And congratulations, Richard C. Be very careful on your motorcycle, man. Wear your gear. I really can't wait for you to get it. We'll be in contact, obviously. Uh, the, the runner's up. Uh, K21 and um, uh, BI10K something, whatever. Um, you guys are going to get $20 gift cards. So thank you very much for everyone, man, for all your support. 2023 is going to be a, a, just a ridiculously awesome year for us here. Um, the next giveaway is patron only where we're going to give away an Arai Corsair X. 
Um, but like I said, I need 50 patrons for that because that's where the money from that will be able to equal the cost of this helmet, which is $1,000, all right? So, um, and then when we're up to like about 300 patrons, I'll be able to give away a motorcycle. So, and that's no joke. Like I'm gonna give away a bike if I get 300 patrons. So go ahead in the link below, sign up for Patreon, guys. Uh, it, that's the best way to support because I tell you right now, Google AdSense, it, it doesn't it doesn't run the channel like it's almost like i don't even monetize the videos anymore because it's literally pointless and it, it just destroys the algorithm so uh, it destroys my algorithm when i when i try to monetize a video of me reckless driving youtube doesn't like that like when you got guys like fast lane d blurring out wheelies you know there's an issue here with youtube and, and motorcycles so you know i'm all for man having fun live your life but we need to start weeding out these people who don't belong here on this channel. So that's just the way it is, guys. Um, Raven Moto, again, armored hoodie. This this shit is just so fire, man. So any of you guys on um, in out there in Dallas, the X10 crew, or any of you guys want to um, get hooked up with some bike gear, I got a code, 10% off, hard, uh, hard city, all caps, or anybody who rides motorcycles. This, this armored jean setup and this armored hoodie is fire. I know a lot of you guys like to just rock a hoodie. Dude. I'm telling you right now, like this hoodie is, I, I like, I love it. Like I, I'm going to probably wear it all day because I just, I'm just chilling, man. I'm chilling right now. Um, and I'm not really riding hard, super hardcore. I might go meet up with my buddy, Ian, who's got an R1 and he, he, I think he's having problems with his battery. So guys, thank, just thank you, man. So much for the amazing year. We've been through a lot this year, the, the hardcore breakup in Iowa, um, with, with my ex-girlfriend, the, um, the news anchor who, you know, ended up getting arrested and we broke up i never saw her again and i got super depressed from that ended up getting my ninja 400 started the channel into a bike channel then i almost got killed on it then we got the job at tesla then we moved to texas like everything that happened this year man is just it's just so crazy so freaking crazy man but thank you guys so much i'm about to vlog today too got the 360 camera going the gopro everything's charged we'll see who i can gather around and what bikes i can find out here today uh, I'm just super amped up for the future, man. And I think we're going to do big things. And again, MotoGP weekend, April 14th uh, to the 16th is uh, Circuit of America's MotoGP. Start booking your hotel rooms now. Start trying to figure out how to get out to Texas, guys. We're going to do a huge meetup. I know for a fact 650 Eb is coming out here. I know for a fact Jared Campisi is coming out here. Uh, ZX10 Mez is going to be out here. Uh, and all his crew, we're gonna have hundreds of hundreds of super bikes out here, and we're gonna be we're gonna be ripping up the streets of Austin, Texas. It's a complete super bike takeover out here, and I would like you guys to be out here for it. Um, and just to at least meet and talk, and and guys can meet me. That's gonna be our first meetup for Hard City. But man, I'm just I'm just so excited, man. Like this is the holy mecca of motorcycle of street bike riding out here in Austin, Texas. It's, it, there's no other better spot in the United States of America than Austin, Texas. And he, and because of CODA is a big reason because of that. Uh, they don't have CODA at, um, in, in Tennessee or Tell the Dragon. Uh, they, don't have, um, they don't have it in California, they don't have it anywhere. Circuit of America is a huge deal out here. And because of that, we just have all this amazing uh, motorcyclists out here who are really good. And I'm just, uh, I'm super happy to be a part of it. This is one of the main reasons why I wanted to live out here and um, so here we are. So like, share, subscribe, guys. Patreon link below. Hard City, all caps, Raven Moto. Get yourself hooked up. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Peace. Oh, yeah, and Raven Moto, make the bag. We want the bag, guys. We want the bag. We, Raven Moto, man, I, I I don't know if they're going to make it, honestly. It's a lot of R&D and, and stuff they got to do to make a backpack. But um, I think that in the future they might make it. I don't know if they'll do a limited Hard City edition or whatever. But a smaller no drag backpack is absolutely gonna sell. I promise you. Yo, and I'll help yo, you. yo, I'm out of gas, yo. Fuck, dude. I don't know if this thing's gonna start.